Hi students, this is Ramalakshmi Physics Faculty. In this video, I am going to discuss about the topic block on block. This is second video on block on block. Friction exists between the two blocks in contact and also with the horizontal surfaces and force act on the lower block. M1 is the mass of the lower block and M2 is the mass of the upper block. Mu1 is the coefficient of friction in between lower block and horizontal surface. Mu2 is the coefficient of friction in between M1 and M2. F is the external force applied on the lower block. Due to this force, M1 accelerated in forward direction. So whenever M1 is moving in forward direction, frictional force acting in opposite direction. Due to this frictional force, it exerts a pseudo force on M2. So due to that M1 and M2, these two are relatively moving in forward direction. So to understand this, first draw the free body diagrams of M1 and M2. M1 and M2. Weight of M1 acting in downward direction. At the same time, M2 also exerts weight on M1 only. Normal force let it be N1. N1 is equals to M1 plus M2 into G. So, along this direction, frictional force F1 acting in opposite direction to the motion of M1. At the same time, in between the blocks also frictional force is there. Let it be F2. This is external force. Applied force minus F1 minus F2 is equals to M1A. F is equals to F1 plus F2 plus M1A. Let it be equation 1. Frictional force in between lower block and the horizontal surface. F1 is equals to coefficient of friction mu1 into normal force N1. Mu1 in place of normal force M1 plus M2 into G. Take this is equation 2. Weight of M2 acting in downward direction M2G. Normal force let it be N2. Here N2 is equals to M2G. And pseudo force F2. So F2 is equals to mu2 N2. Mu2 M2G. Take this is equation 3. So due to this force M2 is accelerated in forward direction. F2 is equals to M2A. Take equation 4. Equate these two equations. M2A is equals to mu2 M2G. On both sides M2 get cancelled. Relative acceleration of these two blocks is equals to mu2 g. Now substitute f1, f2 and acceleration in equation 1. f is equals to in place of f1 mu1 into m1 plus m2 into g plus f2 is equals to mu2 m2 g plus m1 in place of acceleration, mu2 g. Mu1, m1 plus m2 into g. Here also take mu2 g common. Mu2 of m1 plus m2 into g. In these two terms, m1 plus m2 into g is common. Mu1 plus mu2 into m1 plus m2 into g. This is the maximum force at which these two blocks relatively move without slipping. So here 
frictional force in between lower block and horizontal surface F1 is equals to mu1 into m1 plus m2 into g. And frictional force in between the two blocks is equals to mu2 m2 g. And the maximum applied force at which these two blocks relatively move without slipping is mu1 plus mu2 into m1 plus m2 into g. Friction exists between the two blocks in contact and also with the horizontal surfaces. And force act on the upper block. So when force applied on the upper block, due to this, frictional force exerts on M2 in opposite direction. Due to that frictional force, it exerts a pseudo force on M1. So to understand that, let us draw the free body diagrams of M1 and M2. Mass of the lower block is M1 and mass of the upper block is M2. Weight of this block is acting in downward direction and also weight of the second block exerts a force on M1. And the normal force let it be N1. N1 is equals to M1 plus M2 into G. And here frictional force F1. F1 is equals to mu1 into N1. Mu1 into M1 plus M2 into G. Let it be equation 1. Here weight of this block M2G. Normal force N2. N2 is equals to M2G. Frictional force F2. F2 is equals to mu2 N2. Mu2 M2 G. Let it be equation 2. Here external force is applied on this block F. Due to the difference of these two forces M2 accelerates in forward direction. F minus F2 is equals to M2A. Let it be equation 3. Due to this force, a pseudo force exerts on M1. F1 acting in opposite direction and F2 pushes this block in forward direction. Due to the difference of these two forces, F2 minus F1 is equals to M1A. In place of F2, substitute mu2 M2G minus F1 is equals to M1 plus M2 into G that is equals to M1A. From this, relative acceleration is equals to mu2 m2g minus mu1 m1g minus mu1 m2g by m1. Take g common. mu2 m2 minus mu1 m1 minus mu1 m2 into g by M1. Substitute acceleration in equation 3. This is the formula to find out the maximum force at which the two blocks relatively accelerate without slipping.